Welcome back to another video on the channel. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Kind of didn't... I haven't uploaded for like a month or something like that. Probably a bad idea. But I just want to say thank you to 400 subscribers if you haven't been on the server already. And I'll show a screenshot right now that I have a $10 Nitro uh, giveaway going on right now. It'll be ending in like four or so days. So uh, if you subscribe to the channel, make a ticket in the server. It shows you're subscribed if you haven't done that already. And you'll be able to enter to have a chance to win that Nitro. Good luck to you. Save the world. Uh, what am I saying? Epic Games has just released a new home base status report about 12 hours ago. And uh, this is what it said. Uh, Hello Commanders, home base is back to share what, what's coming this week and next to Fortnite Save the World. Spoiler alert, it's Avengers time. Home base status report initiate. Coming April 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Grab your gear, Commanders. The Scurvy Shoals Venture season begins. Get ready for the new Venture Season Commanders. The next Save the World Venture Season, Scurvy Shoals, begins April 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern and is expected to conclude on June 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Warning, the husks are exceptionally super during the Scurvy Shoals Venture Season. The husks, now known as Super Husks, are packing some serious modifier power in the Scurvy Shoals Ventures mission. Here's what we're seeing in the field. Super melee monsters, takers, and melee based husks move and attack faster. And their attacks slow commanders by 30% for 5 seconds, which is kind of like that one modifier in normal campaign. And eliminating super melee husks will stun smaller enemies in a small radius for a short amount of time. Chaining these stuns together may stun stronger husks. Super ranged monsters, slingers, pitchers, and lobbers throw additional projectiles while zappers and blasters fire twice as quickly. All their blasting efforts are causing them to have 30% less health. Super tough husks. Husky husks and smashers have increased resistance to trap and range weapon damage and deal increased damage to structures. Sure, they're super, but all that smashing power causes them to move 20% slower. Now it's our turn, commanders. Grab your gear because it's a shooting and looting season. <laughs> Eliminating husks, especially those smashers, causes them to periodically drop a chest full of valuable items. Greater monsters mean greater rewards and more husks. We eliminate the more chests we can loot. Ventures isn't the only thing this week because... Brave the depths of the dungeons. That's right. It's time to fight monsters, dodge traps, gear up, and descend into the depths to confront the raging evil below. They say there are weapons and heroes to recruit along the way. Magical keys, a deep and dark labyrinth, golden coins. Sounds like it's time to do some exploring. Complete dungeons to unlock heroes, a loading screen, and more. Swamp Knight Rises. Uh, his standard perk, Unearthly Treat. Increases damage versus miss, miss monsters by up to 42% based on the percentage of your missing health. I can tell this here is going to be good for the Venture Season. And his commander perk increases damage to miss monsters uh, by up to 42% based on percentage of missing health. In addition, taking damage has a 45% chance to conjure a phantasm. And that targets a nearby enemy, dealing 62 base energy damage in a 0.5 power radius with a one and a half second cooldown. And Swamp Knight is available from completing dungeon quests until June 19th. And by the way, if anybody needs help running dungeons, I can run with I can run them with you guys. I'll probably be on a bunch. So I can definitely stream that. But Mermonster Ken returns from returns from the depths. Uh, standard perk from the depths increase melee damage by 44% based on the percentage you're missing health. Increase melee damage by 44% based on the percentage of missing health. Commander perk. Additionally, melee heavy attack eliminations have a 60% chance to conjure a phantasm, which again targets enemies. 62 base energy damage, 0.5 power radius, with a 1.5 second cooldown. He is also available on June 19th from the quest line. And it shows a screenshot here of a chrome husky. It says, Ray has gone missing. Investigate the comet and gear up recruit to recruit a team of superheroes. Find Ray and bring her back home. Complete the blockbuster quest line to unlock the mythic soldier carbide and the mythic ninja cloak star. 
you know, I have a feeling that Chrome Huskies are going to come back, either in the main campaign or in ventures, and everybody knows if you've been playing Save the World for a long time, those things are a pain in the ass to kill. But Carbide heeds the call, standard perk, uh, lefty and righty applies affliction which deals 13 base energy damage per second for three seconds and his commander perk lefty and righty applies a affliction with which deals 26 base energy damage per second lefty and righty uses space pistols which fire piercing bouncing lasers and his team perk underdog for each hero here for each hero of epic or higher rarity increases healing received by 2.5 percent for each nearby enemy and he is available from the Blockbuster quest line until June 19th. And Cloak Star, Return to the Shadows, Standard Perk. To throw all throwing stars together in an arc, adds additional one additional star. And Commander Perk, throws all throwing stars together in an arc, adds additional three stars. His team perk, Round Trip, throwing stars return to you dealing their damage again on the way back requires two ninjas of legendary high rarity which is kind of like the uh what's his name um i don't remember his name i i, I don't remember it's that one outlander guy <sighs> oh whatever he's available on june 19th until june 19th and plunder in the yard quest line a black flag flies on the horizon pirates are headed for home base get ready for some swashbuckling pirate plundering adventuring don't forget to grab your pirate llamas to round out your collection which probably will do like a jack's revenge and stuff like that and blake beard the black-hearted pirate constructor comes back uh standard perk Increases cannonball damage by 20%. Commander perk increases cannonball damage by 40%. And convert, converts Rosie, which is the turret, to fire 25 cannonballs. Team perk, Blakebeard stash. Eliminate enemies have a 5% chance of uncovering one of Blakebeard's stashes, which contains the following item. Peglay club, coconuts, or cannonballs. And he is available from the yard quest line until June 19th. Miss Bunny Penny hops back into battle. Uh, her standard perk, Plasma Overdrive, decreases Plasma Pulse energy cost by 38%. Commander perk, increases Plasma Pulse energy cost by 75%. And she is available from the event store starting April 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Time until June 19th. And coming April 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, grab Rabbit Raider and Cottontail Eagle Eye from the event store, which are two different heroes. And uh, Rabbit Raider, his standard perk is increases sniper crit damage by 75%. His commander perk increases sniper critical damage by 225%. And again, available April 10th. Cottontail Eagle Eye, uh, standard perk, phase shift leaves three egg bombs which deal 18 base damage to nearby enemies. Commander Perk, Phase Shift leaves three, leaves three Egg Bombs, which deal 55 base damage to nearby enemies. Available from the event store starting April 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern until June 19th. And last but not least, the Machinist Mina uh, State of the World pack is leaving soon. And she's leaving on April 16th, and she... If you don't know what she is, she introduces a new hero and outfit, and the schematic is a Zappo Max, and it's like a it's a wall dynamo reskin, tank built loader back bling, and the machinist mina challenges, and entry to save the world. So if you guys uh, want to save the world, you gotta buy the machinist mina pack right now, or you buy the next one that's coming in, and uh, the extra challenges will allow you to earn up to 1,000 V-Bucks and 1,000 X-Ray tickets just by doing daily quests over like four days or something like that. And uh, that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and I got some new stuff coming soon, so just be wary of that. And I will see you guys in about a week or so. Peace.